Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I am Brian. Thanks for coming back for another video. Today, I am going to do a ring pour, but I am going to be using a split cup I got from Sandra's Creations. She sent this to me, and it says on the side, pour your cares away. It is a four chamber uh, split cup. It is a 16 ounce split cup. Uh, Sandra lives in Canada. And so I was speaking with her and she was very nice and she sent me one of these along with a couple of other things I'll show you at a later time. Um, so I will get you down on the canvas. We'll talk about all the colors we're gonna use and how I'm gonna layer this cup. This will be the very first time I'm using this cup so I'm very excited to even try it out. I haven't practiced with it whatsoever so this should be fun. All right, I'll get you down on that canvas. I will be right back. Okay, so what I've got here is an 18 by 24 canvas. I am going to repurpose this canvas and pour over top of it. This is a painting I did in another video. Um, just wasn't real excited about it. The colors didn't really come out the way I thought it would. Um, I liked it when I did it, but you know, after you sit here and look at stuff for a while, you realize, eh, it's not so great. So um, what I'm gonna do is I will pour over this. This canvas will need about 16 ounces of paint. This is a 16 ounce cup, so I may have to relayer and do it twice because with it being 16 ounces, I'm gonna need every single drop that I can get out of that. So the colors I'm gonna be use today, this will be fun. So first of all, I am mixing all my paints with Mix Pour. You can get this from Krista Rasmussen. You can email her directly at Krista8974 at gmail.com. All right, my colors today, I'm going to be using Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black, Golden's Fluid Dioxazine Purple, Liquitex Basics Cerulean Blue. I'm using my Titanium White from Amsterdam with a mix of DecoArt Satin Enamels White, DecoArt 24 Karat Gold, Pebio's uh, Iridescent Green Yellow, and a custom color I mixed, which is Amsterdam's Permanent Red Violet with mixture of Treasure Gold Fire Opal, which made this wonderful color, and it's gonna have some metallic um, shimmer to it. So made that Permanent Red Violet, gonna give it a nice shine. And my paints are mixed to make a mound on top of a mound. So they run off the stick and makes a mound before it falls back into the cup and it makes a mound on top of itself. All my paints are mixed to that consistency. I have mixed these. They've been sitting for about um, 20, 25 minutes. All right, so what I'm gonna do is layer colors in the chambers and I'm not gonna use, it's gonna be different colors in different chambers. Some are gonna be in the same chambers, different chambers. So we'll see how that goes. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with a little black.
is a very, very full cup. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of gold here. Just top that off a little bit. off since I need about 15 ounces. This is a 16 ounce cup. Just gonna fill her up to the brim. I'm gonna bring this puppy back over here center. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour a little bit of my gold here in the center. See if I get any gold cells. Spread this around a little bit so it's not so thick. Concentrated just in the middle. All right, let the magic begin. Gonna do a ring pour. in this scoop. Gonna fix it. colors happening here beautiful all right so now I've got my <clears throat> black which I thinned out so I'm gonna pour that around my pour Now we're going to tilt this out. I'm going to 
do my best to keep you guys into in the camera. Let's stretch. I'm in love with all your lights and your colors. I'm in love with all your nights. But you've kept me far away from my focus And to my heart I cannot lie Stars made of stars Up above, made to fall Stars, counting stars And they guide me through the dark Lonely days left in best to breathe dreams of green and filled with bliss life is so much more than this so where do you go when nothing's like green in here you see it it's in spaces but it's not as prominent as I would have liked to have had it I did get, I've got my green here there is a faint of green some green through here some green over here um, used a little too much black I think that's what happened but this piece is gorgeous the way it is I was going to relayer a cup and pour over top of it but I'm not going to because I don't want to ruin this piece because this piece is beautiful and gorgeous and I just don't think I need to mess with it. So I'm going to torch this off. All right, guys, I'm going to scrape my edges and then I will bring you down off the tripod and show you the wet result. All right, so um what i love about this piece um i do miss some of the green i wish i would have gotten more green in there but that's okay what i do like about this piece is the distinct lines that i got out of this i mean it just really turned out great um as always this mixed pour did an amazing job um i'll bring you in for a close-up we'll start up here in the right hand corner just these gorgeous gorgeous rings Got some white cells there. Um, there's just tons of small cells. See all those there. So overall, beautiful piece. I'm loving these corners. And 
and the black did great. I think I just layered too much of it um, because I would have liked to have seen more of the bright colors really take off. That green would have been nice. I know I keep talking about the green, but it just would have been so nice. See, you see here in this corner there, I think it would have been really cool if it would have gotten in the middle there, but that's all right. Hey, you live and learn. This is the first time I've ever used this split cup. So I'm very happy with the result. I'm glad I didn't layer in another cup. I think that was a smart idea. So, all right guys, I'll show you the dried result. I'll be right back. Um, I'm loving these outside shots because they just really make the pieces pop versus inside in the studio. Um, you know, I just like the colors. So pardon my dogs. They're going to probably run in and out of here. I'll bring you in for a close up. Um, I know I was a little disappointed in the video with missing some of the green, but man, did this really dry beautiful. Let me tell you, this mix pour pouring medium is just amazing. I'll bring you in here. I mean, look at the lines. You just get soft lines throughout all of this. Didn't get a whole lot of cells, got a little bit, but it's great. Um, but look, the gold and the black just really dried beautifully. Bring it down here to the bottom. You do see some of that green in the corner, but it's, it's actually okay. I'm okay with this. I did miss the green, but I'm okay with it. I think one of my favorite pieces or portions of this piece is right here as you come up into this right hand corner where you really get into this, the red there. Just beautiful. I love that the center is not dead center. Um, yeah, just great. All right, everyone. So as always, my pieces are available for purchase. If you like what you're seeing, email me directly at Brian's Upper Valley Artistry at gmail.com. Also, don't forget to give me some thumbs up, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That'll let you know when I do post some new video content. All right, everyone. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.